Is this a must win for the Eagles? No. No. They're a game back of the Cowboys. If the Cowboys look like world beaters to anyone this year, I mean, on paper, as I've said, you know, one through 53, I love the Saints. I thought the Colts to start the season, you see how resilient they've been with Brissett, um, showing you their depth at every position, including quarterback. But the one through 22, the team I liked was the Cowboys. Everywhere I looked, I was like, woo, that's a guy. And other than, like, Jason Witten, who shouldn't be playing much at tight end anymore, the truth is. But, like, you know, it's not just a guy, but, like, a young guy or a guy in his prime, both sides of the ball. But they just haven't performed that way. At a certain point, you are what you are. And I don't see the Cowboys as running away with it. And by the way, they got to beat the Patriots to stay above 500 right now, or much above 500, to stay ahead of, stay ahead of the Eagles. Mm -hmm. No, I don't see this. Like, the NFC one game back with six games to play is, by definition, not a must win. Well, listen, it was going to be a must win for me, but I owe all of y'all an apology up here because I usually don't change my mind. But I have no choice, and I apologize to my producers here because I didn't look at the damn schedule. <laughs> I mean, I sort of, I mean, I understand the Cowboys, but damn, after the Eagles game, I'm sorry, the Seahawks game for the Eagles, mm -hmm. they got two against the Redskins and two against the Giants and the Dolphins. I mean, damn. Uh, That's five and oh. I mean, it's less than my miserable. Goodness. I mean, listen, I, I'm sitting there saying to myself, well, damn, Cowboys already beat them once. And you a game up. So you got to get a two-game edge. But then when you look at the Cowboys, you got New England, Buffalo, Chicago, the Rams, Eagles, and then basically the Redskins at the end of the season. But also five tough games for the Dallas Cowboys. The Eagles, I mean, one could make an argue they got about three or four, five weeks mixed up in there in the last five weeks. So I apologize. I saw the schedule. Yes. I interpreted it a much different way, though. Okay. The schedule is very easy for Philly, but... Take a deeper dive into that conference and into that division. Dallas leads by a landslide and everything else. Conference record and division record. So if we're going to say that Dallas is going to end up a 9-7 and seven team. Okay. Philly's going to end up somewhere around 9-7 and seven as well. The next thing that we're going to look to is the division record, then the conference record. And then Dallas wins both of those. There is no wild card team coming from the NFC East. So it's either you win a division in e Eagles or Dallas or you're out. So this is definitely a must-win game for the Eagles because if the Eagles can't get to 10 victories, they're in all kinds of issues. But you're at Stephen A, two against Washington and two against New York. Right, but they lose this game. You're talking about, like I said, a 9-7 and seven team, and that one loss would now be again to who? Dallas Cowboys. Right. Right. So you have four victories or whatever it is there. There's a matchup with the Cowboys they have to face the tie at home. If they the both tie wind up 9-7, and seven. but if I think the point, is, nine and seven. the point is – Philly would really have to screw it up as, to not win at least four of the five games that Stephen A. mentioned, and at least. But that's my point. But that puts you at nine. They that should puts probably, you at nine. They should probably win five out of those six. Okay, so let's take it from the other angle. The yeah. Cowboys are six and four. Is it fair to say they're going to win three more games this year? Cowboys? I think so. Cowboys. Yes, yeah, it's fair more. to say they're going to win three more fair. games. I think it's fair. So they will be nine and seven. Okay. If Philly loses today and they still go on a great <coughs> tear – and they win nine games this season. They will both be sitting at nine and seven. Who was the tough game on the schedule you mentioned? Cowboys. Coming up? The, the, for the Cowboys? For the, for, the, for the Eagles. You mentioned. Cowboys. After the Seahawks. Right. They got Miami. Right. Two against the Giants. Right. And two against the Redskins. Cowboys are in there. They're, and the Cowboys. And the right. Cowboys. And they play. That's so they their have, tough I'm game. Right. So that's what I'm an, saying. So they have another bite at the apple. And if, if that's my whole point. If they lose that, you're sitting at 9-7, and seven and you lose every Apologize. other... Two against the Giants, one yes. against the Redskins, right. the Cowboys. Right. And so Miami. You right, lose... right, right. You're saying that right. Right. So now you lose every other tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. The conference re division record, lost. Cowboys are 4-0 right now in the division. You lose that if you're Philly. Conference record, you're going to lose. It does put so you pressure cannot on be nine and Philly seven. to beat all the teams they should beat. They don't have and a chance beat to slip the Cowboys. Up. And beat the Cowboys. But here's my thing. I don't but here's my That's point. why it's a must I believe, I believe the Eagles are going to beat the Cowboys in the second, in the second meeting in, okay. in Philadelphia, get... which is on December 22nd, three days before Christmas. Outside of that, after Seattle, yeah. they got Miami, Giants, Redskins, Dallas, and then the Giants. Correct. So if, you, if I believe you're going to beat the Cowboys, then I believe it's conceivable you're that go the, Eagles are gonna go, uh, the, the Eagles are going to go five and no, what, in the wait, season. Wait, hold on. What, Correct. What, Jonathan, what so you're, you're saying is the rematch six. against the Cowboys is the must win. No. That's this, the must win. No, this is the must win because you win this one, now you're six and five, 
and then you only have to worry about those four games to get the 10. Well, but that, you have but four easy win. victories to get the 10. But, okay, That's what you're I'm changing saying. The idea of must win is that yes. forget about the math of it all. Okay. You get the feeling like they really have to have this game to avoid a disastrous scenario. Yes, exactly. What you're saying is this is a really good idea to win because it puts them in the driver's no, 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 seat. No, 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 no. The must win for them is the rematch with the Cowboys unless they lose to the Giants, Dolphins, or They're Washington, which they not, should not. No, no, no. They're still not in the driver's seat if they win. If they win and the Cowboys lose, you're, to, you're looking at two six and five teams, right? Right, and one has and a much easier schedule. Dallas is still ahead of them, though, because of all the tiebreakers. That's where I keep Who going back to. Who would you rather be? Who would I rather? Yeah, what team would you I rather would be? Right now? Yeah. I'd much rather be Dallas right now. I have the better team. I have the better quarterback. Well, okay, wait, wait. Well, no, wait. no, 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 no. You asked team, me who would I rather be. I'd team, much rather I, be Dallas the better, right now. The better team, I agree. Would mm -hmm. you rather be the Eagles facing their schedule or the Cowboys facing their schedule? I want to be the Cowboys. The Cowboys are 6-4. and four. Okay, I think it's a I The think Cowboys it's a, are 6-4 and 4-0 four, four no in the division. I think it's a toss-up. So how would this so, not be a must-win? Because win? That's, that's all the reason why this needs to be a must-win. Because even if you lose this game, it's a toss-up based on the schedule. I don't think you, so. And you still have your destiny in your own I hands. I feel like what y'all are really debating right now is what is, what is defining a must-win game. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.